hello and welcome back to another daily dice where we get the messages from the dice and see what that is keep in mind these are general readings so please take what resonates and leave what does not knowing that as you interact with the channel it allows me an opportunity to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings that is by commenting liking and subscribing with that being said let's go ahead and get into your message and see what is today's daily dice source what message do you have for my fellow humans how can we help them out what do they need to know what is today's daily dice so we've got seventh house virgo and neptune energy hmm, something with your relationships coming through okay so there's two energies coming in here there's some sort of addiction to an a relationship that needs to be released okay this feels like a past energy okay this feels like something that is from your past life and you know when I say past life if you don't believe in reincarnation that is fine it means what you've lived up until now there's some sense of memory that keeps playing over and over and over again like especially with Virgo here it's like trying to figure out what you could have done to make it better and playing that over like well what if I had done this instead or what if I had done that instead or what if I have done this or what if I had gone here or what if I had said this or what if I had tried this and this is saying there's nothing that you could have done to change the past and so we need to release that forgive yourself for getting involved in the situation you got involved in forgive the other person because they didn't know what they were doing to you which most times they don't okay and even if they did forgiveness is the only way to free yourself from a situation not saying that what happened was okay Forgiveness says I release myself from the bondage that this memory keeps playing on my mind. Because when you forgive it, it says to you, there's nothing that I could have done to change it. So there's no reason to hold on to it anymore. Okay, and that's exactly why we talk about forgiveness. That's why I talk about forgiveness. That's why I bring it up a lot. But that's exactly what's coming through here with the dice. There's this need to forgive a past situation from a relationship. This could be a divorce. This could be a marriage. This could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could be a business partner. This could be a schoolmate, a colleague, a coworker. Where whoever it is, this is an interpersonal relationship that you keep playing it over and over and over again in your mind. With Virgo here trying to pick apart every detail to figure out how you could have somehow changed it but with neptune coming in it's you're dreaming of having better relationships you're dreaming of having the relationships that you want in your life and the only way to bring that into existence is to let go of the toxicity of what has happened from the past how do we let that go it is through forgiveness and again i repeat forgiveness does not say that what happened was okay that's not why we forgive. We forgive to set ourselves free. That's how we heal from the past is forgiveness. Okay, because it takes two. In any relationship, it takes two to tango. There is not one person who's at fault here. There are two people here, and it's hard for us to swallow that pill, especially on the spiritual journey when you're beginning or when you're getting into the state of forgiveness. It's hard to swallow this pill that I was the one that was hurt. How did I play a part in this? Okay, well, you failed to see red flags or you allowed them to be a certain way saying that, oh, they'll change one day. Or when they didn't change and you knew they weren't going to change, you still invited this person back in and let them be a repeat offender. That's not that person at that point. That is ourselves and that's our responsibility to first and foremost forgive ourselves. If we cannot forgive ourselves, we cannot forgive another person. So if you're struggling to forgive another person, understand that first comes self-forgiveness. And that's where the struggle is at, is self-forgiveness. The other energy that's coming through in, it's in conjunction with that is saying that in order for you to bring in new relationships, you have to begin, whoa, exactly, to change the way you look at yourself. That dice went all the way over there. So seventh house, I don't even know where it went it went all the way over there let's see drop the dice y'all drop the dice let me grab one of the other dice and i'll put it on the seventh house here okay so the thing is is that you have to change yourself in order to bring in new relationships right because if you keep replaying what's in the past you're going to keep having those same relationships come into this here now now here moment okay 
And since this is a relationship reading, let's go ahead and get some relationship cards out on it. Whoa, okay, thank you. They want two of these. Whoa, yeah. You want true love. That's a thing. So this feels like a past partner, but even if it's not, you want true love and friendships. You want true love and in, in connections. You want true love across the board, right? Something that's real, that's honest, that has integrity, that's honorable. And this is saying in order for you to bring that in, you have to forgive yourself from the past transgressions that you did on yourself, right? And I always found when I couldn't forgive people, because I've been in enough situations in my past where I was like, I'm never going to forgive them. They did something that was completely unforgivable. You know, I've, I've been in, I have been in a situation with sexual abuse. I've been in situations with mental abuse, with emotional abuse, with physical abuse. I have experienced quite a lot in my lifetime. And there were times when I was like on this journey, I was like, I cannot forgive this person for doing what they did to me. They should have known better. But the truth of the matter is, is that I actually personally don't know if they knew better or not in treating me that way. And so when you stop and think about it that way, it's like maybe we're holding on to a grudge and the, per the other person has no idea that A, we have a grudge and B, that they may have done anything wrong. And it seems like, well, if it's sexual abuse, they should know that it was wrong. You know, maybe they didn't. And, and instead of me sitting here trying to pick it apart, it's easier to forgive, not to forget because if we forget, we'll repeat those lessons, but we forgive and we remember the lesson we learned. But you want to bring in true love and that's how to do that because it seems like there's a love in your, there's a love that's once in a lifetime that's trying to come in and we have demonstrate love, but find out what is important to those you love and act on it with number 48 here. And 48 is number 12 and 12 is all about changing your perspective. You know, I feel like you're a very giving person. Like, there's flower in both their ears here. I feel like you're a very giving person. You're willing to listen. Okay, you're willing to listen to others. And the question here is, are you willing to listen to yourself? So you were in a really sketch situation from your past. Are you willing to listen to yourself and how you truly feel about that? Rather than playing the victim in the situation, are you willing to sit down and say, Hey, ego, tell me how you really feel. Tell me what's going on. Don't tell me what the other person did. I want to know how you feel. Can you tell me how you feel? And write it down. Listen to yourself. Talk about it on a video, on a recording. Do something so that you can listen to yourself the way that you listen to others. So that you can hear beyond what's really there. Because maybe the broken heart is really a disconnect from self. Or maybe the upset and the triggering moment that's coming from this is because you're reliving something that came from your childhood. That's what's going on here. But I feel like because the dice freaked out in the beginning and went flying, that's the first time that's ever happened on, on here. I feel like this is a really hard situation for you. I feel like it's really hard for you to let go. In fact, if you stayed on the video, I'm just going to applaud you right now because it means you're ready to hear this, even if it is difficult. Yes, so many have probably clicked off when it's like, and, and I know, I'd been, I'd been in that energy in my past as well. I'm just going to click off because I'm not ready to hear this. I'm not ready to do this. But if you stayed on this video, it means you're ready to take the next step. And the next step comes from forgiveness. Right? And we have simple acts of kindness. Kindness en energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. This, to me, feels like being kind and gentle to yourself. Because there's a sense of blaming self in this situation for showing up or for being in this. It's easy to blame the other. But remember, our projection, if we're blaming another person for making us feel, act, or be a certain way, that's our projection. We're projecting onto another how we truly feel about ourselves. It's easy enough to stand back and say, oh, well, that person's projecting onto me. What's difficult is saying, oh, wow, I'm actually projecting onto others. And that is a very conscious thing to do. And when you come into this conscious state, you're going to grow spiritually beyond what you could have ever imagined. And knowing that it's okay, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up for this. Don't blame yourself for this. Remember that this is a very human thing. And we're here to have a human experience. And if you learned anything from it, it was absolutely a human experience. That doesn't make you any less of a person or of a person who's worthy and deserving of what they desire. Okay? 
I love you so much. I'm sending you out a big energetic hug, okay? But I'm going to leave it here and get on out of here. If it resonated, hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, stay human. Bye.